Today we're going to fit a new sink above our kitchen cabinets. If you remove your old sink and the hole is too small for the new model, have a look at the kitchen cabinets and identify where you can cut the wood. Be very careful as you don't want to cut out a piece that can be seen from the front. A jigsaw or circular saw or even a hand saw will do the job well. If you need to drill a hole into the sink, use a hole saw fitted into an electric drill. Ensure that the hole saw is suitable for the material that your sink is made of, which in our case is metal. If you're attaching a tap or faucet, this is a good time to do it, while the sink is standing free and you have lots of space to work in. Our tap was installed after the sink had been fitted. See our video on fitting a kitchen faucet. Once the sink fits into the hole, we can attach the fittings for the water outlet. Roll a little plumber's putty and attach it to the fitting. This is the same stuff as window putty, so if you have some window putty, you can use that as well. Press the grill into position. Now, working from the underside of the sink, assemble the rest of the fitting. And tighten the nut so that it fits securely in place. And remove any excess putty. Repeat the process on the second basin. Give the unit a good clean and lay it upside down on the countertop. The sink is secured to the countertop by a series of clips. Have a look at the cabinets and find the best position for the clips and attach them to the sink. Now apply a bead of marine silicon to the edge of the sink. Marine silicon contains fungus and mildew repellent that will prevent fungus and mildew from growing. Now it's time to fit the basin. The clips can be awkward and prevent the sink from settling. Move them out of the way and ensure that the sink settles squarely onto the countertop. Use a tape measure to be sure that it lines up with the front of the countertop. Working below the counter, tighten the clips to secure the basin. If any silicon squeezes out, leave it just like that for 24 hours until it's dry and slice it off at the edge of the basin with a sharp blade. Connect the pipes to the drain outlet and test the outlet plumbing. If there are no leaks, fill the basins with water and leave them overnight so that the sink can settle and the silicon will dry. Sinks come in many different shapes and sizes, from single bowl to twin and even three bowl units, and in ceramic or metal finishes. 